Hey there, Son of Peace. How's it going? Henry speaking. So someone in the Facebook group, the Sonographic Tendencies Facebook group, was asking for help with the Common Bow Duct. Now, the Common Bow Duct is uh, one of those structures that when you have experience in finding it, it's super easy. But for those who are starting out or who may be less experienced with it, they might find it a little difficult, kind of like trying to find ovaries. So first, real quick, let's just recap on what the common bile duct is. Now, the liver has all these bile ducts that, you know, converge into the right and left hepatic duct that then meets with the cystic duct, which is a duct that comes from the gallbladder. The confluence of that becomes the common bile duct, which then leaves the liver along with the portal vein and hepatic artery. Well, the portal vein and hepatic artery are entering the liver. Common bile duct is leaving the liver. The common bile duct then joins with the pancreatic duct and then goes on into the duodenum. So for size, the normal common bile duct in about 95% of patients is 0.4 centimeters or 4 millimeters. Post-cholecystectomy patients can have diameters that are much larger. Usually 7 millimeters, 6 to 7 millimeters would be the upper limits of that normal. A common bile duct is important because you want to make sure there's no dilatation. If there's dilatation, there might be a stone somewhere further along the duct that the ultrasound cannot see. Or you can see the stone within the duct, which would be cholecystectomy. Now, when scanning for the common bile duct, you're going to want to scan around right here. So you can use a curved or sector probe, have the patient take a deep breath, and try to get in between the ribs. Now, the course of the portal vein and common bile duct is kind of at an angle entering the port of hepatitis in the liver. So you can either scan sagittal like this or try oblique angles to get that nice longitudinal image showing the portal vein and common bile duct. You're going to want to use color Doppler to differentiate the common bile duct from the hepatic artery. Oftentimes when you're sagittal on the patient, you'll be getting the portal vein and the portal triad in a transverse Mickey Mouse view. If you go transverse at an oblique angle, you'll be able to get, you know, everybody's a little different, but you'll be able to get the common bile duct in a longitudinal plane. If you're having trouble in this area here, you can try to scan under the ribs and angle up, have the patient take a deep breath, or you can have them exhale but if you're going under the ribs, you're going to want them to take a deep breath. Another thing you can do is find the patient's gallbladder, get it in a longitudinal plane, and try to find the neck of the gallbladder. From the neck, you'll see the main lobar fissure. The main lobar fissure connects the gallbladder to the IVC, but it also divides the right lobe into anterior and posterior segments. Now, the great thing about the main lobar fissure is you can use it to guide yourself. It kind of points towards the portal triad, the portal vein, hepatic artery, and common bile duct. So in the CBD, here you got the porta, porta hepatis going into the liver, and your, uh, your CBD is going to be right above that. So it's going to be the portal vein, hepatic artery, and CBD. You put color Doppler, obviously, to differentiate between the hepatic artery and the portal vein. All right, take that picture, then measure. This one measures 0 0.2. All right, there you got your portal Try it again. One last way to get the common bile duct is to go into the pancreatic head. In the pancreatic head, you're usually going to see the common bile duct and the gastroduodenal artery. You can differentiate between the two by putting color Doppler. Obviously, the one that lights up with color is the GDA. The one that doesn't is the common bile duct. And this is a good view to see if there's any dilatation there. You could also still sometimes be lucky and find stones at this level. So that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick one. Um, I hope the ones in the group that wanted to see this will enjoy this. So don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell, all that good stuff, and stay tuned for more. Thank you. Bye.